Parent Entrepreneur Power, conversation number 218. Parent Entrepreneur Power. Um, wait, what? It's a mama power! (laughs) This is the podcast for parents juggling the tough choices required for success in business while putting family first. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine Johnson, and I share the ups and downs and dirty truths of profits and potty training while chatting with successful parent entrepreneurs from all walks of life. Are you powered up? Hello there, Power Parents. Welcome to Parent Entrepreneur Power. Mary Catherine Johnson here, and I am very honored that you are taking a few minutes out of your day to listen to what I have to say, because we are talking about the Power Parents in Business series. Again, we are on number eight of 10. So hang on, we have two more to go after this, and then we will resume some pretty incredible conversations with really successful, fun guests. All right. So I really wanted to talk today about um, conferences. Now, no, I'm not going to tell you how to, uh, how to attack conferences, what to do, what to wear, whether to bring chapstick or not. I'm not going to tell you which conferences to attend. I'm going to talk about, I'm, I'm talking to you if you have never attended a conference or if the conference you attended really didn't live up to your expectations. I'm talking to you because I want to make sure that the next time, because if you've sworn off of conferences, I really hope I can change your mind on that. But the next time that you do attend a conference, it is going to be an amazing experience. Okay. So if that's you, if you're looking to possibly attend them, or if you've attended them and not had fun, listen up. If you attend conferences all the time, who knows, you might find some other information here that I'm going to talk about that will increase the effectiveness and the fun of the conferences you attend next. So, all right, who am I to talk about conferences? Really, I I am not a conference expert. I have not attended tons of them. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, since 2003, when I started my first business, I have not attended anything, any conference anywhere until 2018. 15 years it took me to actually attend to conferences, but I did attend local meetup events, local events, and that got me started to be able to step up to possibly a conference because, you know, conferences are not, um, they're not cheap. I'm sorry, I have to give one caveat to that. There was one conference I attended in 2014 that uh, was actually near my home. It was only about three hour drive away. And there was a very specific reason I went to that conference. So I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute too. But in general, just uh, attending any kind of just general conference, I didn't do that until 15 years into my business life. So hopefully you are going to do that earlier than I did. Um, And here's why. Because really attending a conference has been an incredible networking opportunity. I've made some amazing um, connections and they have resulted in definitely increased business. Uh, But that was not my purpose. I did not go business cards in hand with the intent of selling people my services, right? You know, I create messenger funnels. I create messenger chatbots. Uh, and uh, these are amazing experiences for you if you are a business owner, your prospects to get to understand what it is you offer and convert to a sale faster and build a deeper relationship with your brand. So I did not attend these conferences with the with the purpose of selling my services, finding new clients and, and selling my services. That was not my intent. That's what happened. But it didn't happen because I went with my sales pitch, my elevator pitch, and I just started uh, pitching people and trying to sign people up. That's, that's not what I did. So let me back up. Attending conferences, I started that journey by just one day going, you know what, I'm really tired of sitting behind my computer and not actually getting out and meeting people. I think it's about time I go into my community and meet people. Everyone I, I talk to and work with is across the world, really. They're, they're in all other areas of the world, but really no one in my own backyard. So I went out and I looked up meetups. Um, this was about uh, four years ago, I believe. I looked at meetup.com and I searched around some of the local meetups and found some that really didn't feel 
um, salesy. You know, that, that wasn't their purpose. Um, really, their purpose was to share valuable information, um, have uh, learning uh, speeches, learning um, sessions from uh, guests, and that's the one I chose. Plus, it was only about 10 minutes from my house, so I didn't have to drive very far. Um, Sacramento, the uh, the town of Sacramento in California, is about 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour from my house, depending on traffic. And uh, so I really didn't want to go somewhere every week downtown Sacramento. That was not what I wanted. Um, in other words, I wanted to get out, but not that bad. <laughs> so uh, you have to decide on that. But I would start with a local meetup and just go to one. You know what? The first time you walk in, everybody, most of the other people there have already been there. They know each other. Um, but And it feels awkward. I am not going to lie to you. It feels totally awkward. And even for someone like me who's pretty comfortable in social situations, um, meeting brand new people, it was very awkward. We have to find the place. And usually the place is kind of um, an, an, an outside, you know, might even be a, a local restaurant. Um, so you walk into this restaurant not knowing where to go or who to see because you have no idea who these people are. Um, but really people do direct you. You know, when you walk into places like this, they direct you and they, they find you and they're kind and they help you out. So just go. Get over the uncomfortable feelings. Get over the, what do I wear? What do I say? Um, what if no one likes me? What if no one talks to me? Get over that because it's not going to be true. You will find people. Most people here are here for a reason and you'll be able to tell the people who are just there to try and sell you and the people who are actually there to engage and uh, learn from each other. And obviously if they're just there to sell you, you just say, well, that's great. Thank you very much, but no, thank you. And the people who are there to engage and learn, um, you will gravitate toward those people. So I really want to talk about once you start thinking about getting out into a meetup, Go to these with a very specific intent. And my intent in doing this was only to meet interesting people and exchange information, exchange meaningful information. I did not go with the intent of selling. I did not go with the intent to build my business. I went with the intent to learn from others and hopefully help others learn from me. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. And it turned into business because I went with that intent and just wanted to share the knowledge that I have and learn from other people. And it was really incredible. The first meetup I went to, I actually gained three new clients from it. Um, it was, it, it, I was shocked <laughs> after it took maybe about three or four meetings. So maybe three or four weeks. Um, and they, after just talking and what I do and how I help people and, and the kind of knowledge they asked me to speak and, um, it, it all went from there. Uh, and I obviously gave valuable information that some of the people there needed. So, you know, the intent was exchange valuable information. That's it. And it resulted in business. So I went to a few meetups here and there. And then finally, in starting specifically messenger funnels, I have a very specific uh, product or service. Uh, and it is amazingly successful for my clients. And so once I started looking at the possibility of attending conferences, I looked at attending conferences the exact same way I thought about attending meetups. And that was only to engage, meet people, and exchange valuable information. That's it. I didn't go there. Well, my situation is a little bit different just being in business for 15 years. A lot of this information I already knew that might be shared at a lot of these conferences like social media marketing world. I went to that for the first time last March and, uh, I didn't go because I needed to learn about social media marketing. Um, I went because there were many people that I had engaged with online it, through my podcast, uh, through um, on Facebook, networking with people. Many, many, many of those people were going to be at Social Media Marketing World and I wanted to go meet them in person because I knew how powerful meeting people in person really truly is. And I'm here to tell you, if you start at meetups, you will know what I mean. And if that first meetup you go to really doesn't result in any meaningful <laughs> exchange of information, find another one. So remember, the point is to find one that is not sales, not specifically networking. Um, usually the networking meetups are there just to try and sell people and, and you're going to find a lot of insurance agents and um, lawyers and, and things like that. And uh, that may, if that's your market and that's those are the people that are interesting in exchanging meaningful information with you, then go. If it's not, then find another one. So for me, that's not. I needed to find a variety of businesses attending and the purpose was not to sell or to pitch, but it was specifically to having meaningful conversations.
So that got me ready and got me really understanding the value of meeting people in person. So once I did that, then I started looking at conferences and social media marketing world was the first. And uh, again, like I said, just because (laughs) everyone, I knew so many people there and I arranged to meet them in person and it was a blast. Um, And once you meet people in person, it is really, truly incredible the difference it makes. Because when you meet someone, let's say you have a Zoom call or you have a Skype call or you share emails or they're on your podcast or you're on their podcast, it's it's wonderful and you start a conversation there. But you're not really in their world unless you take it further and make an effort. When you go to a conference, it really, um, that, that one-on-one looking someone in the eye, giving them a hug or shaking their hand and having a conversation that's longer than the purpose of a podcast or, um, you know, the the purpose of exchanging information or, or doing a discovery sales call. It really is to sit and chat about what it is they're doing and share what it is you're doing. And, uh, that I, I cannot, I cannot stress how important that is. I I really cannot stress enough how important it is to meet people face to face. So start with meetups, then look at conferences, whether they're in your area or whether they're outside of your area, because yes, it is an investment. And when I went to social media marketing world, I, again, my intent was not to sell, but I came away with, again, three new clients. And depending on what your uh, value of your service or your product is, you could easily uh, take care of the cost of the conference. Uh, when you go with the intent to exchange valuable information, not with the intent to sell, because people will know if you're there just to sell them. They will close down. They will not want to chat with you as openly as they would if you just ask open questions. What are you up to? How is life? What's happening? Um, What are you struggling with? Is there anything I can help you with? Just ask those questions without the, hey, did you hear I'm doing this now? And oh my goodness, my clients are doing that now. And I'm having so much success here and there and blah, blah, blah. If you don't go with the sales and you actually go with meaningful exchange of value, uh, the results will be 10 times higher. So back, getting back to the conference I attended back in 2014, um, this one actually gave me some amazing connections. But the reason that I wanted to attend this conference in 2014 was because Mr. John Lee Dumas and Mr. Pat Flynn were going to be speaking. And it was actually conducted in San Jose, California. That's actually about, like I say, about a three hour drive from where I live. And um, so I, and this conference was, it was not my subject. It was not something that I needed. It was about speaking and specifically speaking to um, youth. And it was Mr. Josh Ship, um, amazing, amazing gentleman, entrepreneur, speaker. Um, and he has this event that specifically for uh, youth speakers and Pat Flynn and JLD were speaking at this event and, and it was like 250 bucks to go. It was a one day event. I didn't have to go hotel. I didn't have to do anything. I could drive down there and drive back in one day. Yes, it was a marathon day, but it was worth it because I had networked and chatted with Pat and John, um, over the last couple of years. And I just had to go meet them in person. I connected with them, said, Hey, I'm going to be there. I would love to chat with you. It was a very small, intimate event, small meaning, um, you know, a few, maybe a couple hundred people at the most. Um, and, and I got a chance to sit and chat one-on-one with uh, two people that I'd chatted with, interviewed with, uh, I'd interviewed them on my podcast and, uh, exchanged, um, Skype calls. And, uh, I was able to do a blog post, a guest blog post on EO fire. Um, and so I just had to go, I really was compelled to go meet these guys in person. And so I did, and it was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, it, it makes a difference. Um, they, I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not going to sit here and tell you they're friends of mine. I don't have their, their phone numbers, um, but, uh, or their cell phone numbers, but it definitely allowed us to have a little bit of a deeper connection beyond just, um, me interviewing them on their podcast. And then I was also able to meet a Mr. Hal Elrod at that event. It was a small event, um, I had had Josh Ship as a guest on my podcast, Pat as a guest, JLD as a guest, and uh, they and Josh basically introduced introduced me to Hal Elrod, and it was when he'd first um, published The Miracle Morning, 
And uh, he said, uh, yeah, I'd love to be on your show. And Hal actually gave me his cell phone number and said, text me the, um, the calendar link for your podcast. And I have had his cell phone number since. Um, I have not abused that privilege at all. Um, I sent him one text when he uh, had cancer and uh, just a text of support that I had followed him and, and wanted him to know how much I was thinking of him and uh, hoping for all the wonderful, uh, wonderful possibilities for uh, his health recovery. That's the only text I've sent him. Otherwise, just being connected with him, I'm now on the Miracle Morning movie. Um, I'm one of the premier um, viewers of the movie, and I'll give my feedback on uh, how I enjoyed it because that movie is going to be incredible. It's coming out very soon. And, um, and so that was an amazing connection I was able to make at this small conference. I also, just by chance, met two amazing entrepreneurs, one of them who had been on my podcast, and that is Dr. Karen Osborne. She, at that time, had a podcast called Mom at 41. She has stopped that podcast, but now she has a different podcast, very unique, very amazing voice called Women Wanting More. And she and her husband, Dr. Ed Osborne, were at that conference. And I had no idea they were going to be there. They had no idea I was going to be there. So we were able to connect again and meet in person. And this was 2014. And now fast forward to social media marketing world. I got to meet amazing people. Aaron Walker, I got to meet him in person. He had an amazing speech at uh, social media marketing world about uh, the the mastermind blueprint. I highly recommend you check it out. And um, I also got to meet um, Pat again. And uh, I was actually um, invited to social smash by uh, another one of my clients, Dana uh, Malstaff of Boss Mom. And I got to chat again one-on-one with Pat and, and JLD and meet Katie Kermitzos, who you heard on this podcast a couple of episodes ago, uh, just climbed in the same Uber, going to the same uh, event, Social Smash, just happened to be in the same Uber and got to meet each other. So I'm telling you, these things would not happen. They would not have happened and I would not have developed the relationships I've developed had it not been for me attending this conference. Beyond that, I also uh, then went to Funnel Hacking Live. And again, the purpose was not to get clients because I am not a ClickFunnels user. Well, I just signed up for ClickFunnels for another reason, but I was not a ClickFunnels user. And this is a ClickFunnels conference, believe me. (laughs) Russell Brunson is a god at this conference. And uh, again, I got to be there to support one of my clients, uh, Allison J. Prince. Uh, Her product is 0to100k.com. And she's just crushing it. It's amazing how deeply we are uh, having uh, conversations and engagement with her audience through Messenger. And so I was there to support her because she was speaking at that conference and she was speaking for the very first time ever on a stage in front of 3,500 people. So it was, uh, it was just amazing. She, she crushed it. She was amazing. But I got to also meet again, Dr. Karen Osborne and her husband, Dr. Ed. Uh, so I was able to connect with them again. And then also I got to meet a very dear friend of mine, Joel Lewis, and his uh, company is integratorandco.com. So integrator, A-N-D-C-O.com. He's amazing. I network with him. I have uh, chatted with him and been friends with him since probably about 2014 as well. And uh, we have a mastermind that we both uh, attend together. But we had never met in person. But seeing him and meeting him in person at Funnel Hacking Live, it felt like this was not the first time we'd met. I mean, it just really felt like we'd always known each other and had always met somewhere in the past and we never had face to face. So, but we just picked up from the conversations and it was, it was wonderful. And I met many new people there and uh, definitely uh, gained two new clients from that conference. But again, the purpose was not to get clients. The purpose was not to sell. The purpose was to engage in meaningful exchange of value. And that's exactly what I accomplished. So I'm telling you right now, if you've never attended a conference, the way you start is to start with meetups. Just start with small groups and exchange value. And I definitely don't suggest you go to a a conference like Social Media Marketing World with 3,000 people or Funnel Hacking Live with 3,000 people, but start with a small conference like the Josh Ship event 
the youth speakers um, at Rock the Stage is what that was called. Start with a small uh, event like that where you can actually, um, you know, engage in meaningful conversations without huge numbers of people passing by. And it just being a, um, just a, a, it it just does not feel intimate in these huge conferences. Um, So start with small ones, start with a meetup, start with a small conference, and then go to the bigger conferences, especially if you have a certain industry, if you support the legal industry, if you support um, the uh, pharmaceutical industry, the medical industry, um, you know, you, ins- you support psychiatry, whatever you support, if there's a specific industry, find one of those conferences to go to, even if you are not a doctor or a lawyer, um, go to one of those conferences and you will have much more meaningful conversations, exchange of value, um, and you will definitely be turned on to conferences. Um, but start small, then go to the larger ones and go with a very specific intent, not to sell, but to engage in meaningful exchange of value. And when you do that, people will feel it. People will know that's what you're doing. Be true to that. And they will engage with you. So the only other thing I would say is when you do go to conferences, even if it's a meetup, uh, I don't carry business cards anymore. I really don't understand why we carry them around. Um, I, when I get business cards, I I don't use them. Um, I I don't remember the person typically, uh, I'd have to write something on it to remind myself who this person was. And most of the time I can't write on them because of the type of paper and, and the coding that it has on. So I just, I really, I don't use Uh, business cards. I use, as you I'm sure can guess, Messenger. So I create a scan code. uh, Very easy to do in ManyChat. Um, I believe the scan code is part of the free service for ManyChat. So you can, I create, I believe, and I'm sorry if if I'm mistaken. Um, But the Messenger code is an actual scan code that anyone with a cell phone that has Messenger app on it they can scan your information and now you are connected and you can create a specific message for them. You can share your, what I do is I share my phone number and my email address with them right there in messenger and ask them to do the same with me. And then I can add them as a contact or just keep them shared in messenger and then communicate there because almost all the communication I do nowadays is through messenger. As you can imagine, (laughs) Uh, I use email for personal and I use email for some of my client business. um, But most of my communications day to day are in messenger. So I don't use business cards when I go to these events. I use messenger scan code and it's just, it's a beautiful thing. And people are, I'm still having to teach people how this works. Uh, And once I do, then they are just blown away. I just got contacted by another person that I met at Social Media Marketing World, and this I'm um, recording this in uh, May, and uh, that event was in March, so it looks like, depending on how the conversations go, there will be another client coming from Social Media Marketing World. Um, so please, attend conferences when it makes sense to you, when you've, st- when you've built up from the smaller conferences to the larger ones, and go with that intent. And believe me, you will find amazing value. Obviously, it may has to make sense monetarily as well, but you will find amazing value in meeting people. And when I went to these conferences, Social Media Marketing World and also Funny ha- Funnel Hacking Live, I didn't I didn't go with anyone. So it's not like I went with someone. So I had kind of a security blanket, so to speak. Um, I was going by myself and just going to go and crash and be there and uh, see what happened. Now, it just so happens that I met up with people at Social Media Marketing World. Um, and uh, it was amazing to be able to, to hang out with, uh, with people there. I did the same thing at Funnel Hacking Live. My good friend, Kathy Booker, I was able to uh, meet up with her. And um, it was just an amazing experience. You will find someone you know, if you've been online at all, and you've been connecting with people at all, uh, you will know people at these conferences. And you can just reach out to them and say, hey, I'm going to be there. Can we meet for a coffee? And uh, it'll be amazing, uh, the relationships that you build there. So I hope this has helped you to decide. And if you've had a conference experience that's been negative, I hope you can use this, these tools to turn it around and make it positive. And if you haven't been and you're a little bit freaked out about it, and you're a little bit scared, thinking, how the heck can I do this? I'm all, all by my little old lonesome, go out to some conference, then I hope this helps you start small. Remember, baby steps. Our kids were not born gazelles. They didn't drop and immediately start running. So I would not expect you to do that either. 
in any part of your business or life. And that includes conferences. Start small, take a baby step, just walk outside your door and go to a meetup and then go from there. All right. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you enjoy the journey. To get powered up for your day, just go to parentepower.com and listen to the over 200 episodes we have so far with amazing entrepreneurs just like you. It might just help you feel like a grown up again. 